Welcome to Make My Newspapers Tutorial Series Part 4 about our Cloud Newspaper Designer. Let's go ahead and launch the designer from our home page. In previous videos we've shown how to use the document, text, picture, and shape tools where your starting point is located on your left menu. Let's go ahead and drag a text box into our canvas and go ahead and bring down a shape. Notice that if I click on the text box again, the tools on top will adapt. And if I choose my shape again, the tools will adapt once more. The top menu will always change to adapt to whatever object or box you're working on in your design. But these tools over here to the top right are your fixed tools. And that's what we're going to talk about today, specifically focusing on the bottom row right here. Your first tool is a grid tool. Simply hit the grid button and a grid will show up in your design area. You can use this grid to help you align your text boxes and images. When you're done, simply hit the button again and the grid will disappear. If you forget to get rid of the grid when you print or publish, no worries, the grid itself will never show up in your final product. The next four buttons are your send backwards and forward features. Let me show you how they work. Let's take a rectangle box and color it. And now let's take our text box and put it inside the shape box. Notice how the text box disappears when I let go because it's now behind the shape. Just go to the tools I just showed you, find the bring to the front button, click, and see how the text box jumps forward onto the top of the rectangle. That's what these tools are for. You can send anything forward or backward one level, which are the inner two buttons, or choose to bring something completely forward or backwards, no matter how many layers there are, which are the side two buttons. The next feature is simple and easy to use. The next two buttons, which are the copy and paste features. Let's click on our shape, hit the copy button, and then the paste button, and there's our copy. Remember, you can use this feature to copy and paste not only to this page, but to any page in your newspaper or even other projects you're working on. The next feature is the delete button. Choose your object, hit the button, and it's now deleted. Right next to that is our next feature, and it's just as easy to use, which is the undo button, which allows you to undo anything you've just done going back several levels. When I hit it, notice the picture I just deleted now shows up. The last panel is your zoom buttons, which simply zooms your page in and out. Something to keep in mind if you're printing is that the 300% zoom is the most accurate showing of how your images and design will actually show when published. Remember also, by right-clicking, many of these features are also available, as you can see, by right-clicking on your mouse. That's the end of part four, and as always, we hope you visit our other videos if you need them, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified of any new videos. Happy designing, everyone.